Hey everybody, welcome to my little church of tone here. I am your host, the Tone Priest. Oh, I'm turning up the volume knob like it's going to do something. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we did a viewer comments day, and one of the commenters said thank you for the pedal content. So I'm like, sure, let's have some more, just for you. We take requests around here. If you have a request, write it on a $5 bill, leave it at the front of the stage. Unless it's free bird, in which case, write it on a $100 bill and leave it at the front of the stage. <laughs> Tip your waitresses. All right, without further ado, let's build a pedal. All right, so what are we gonna build today? This is kind of gonna be a preliminary, what's the word I'm looking for? This is like a warm-up episode for what we're doing next. Um, oh, don't worry about what that is. We'll get to that next episode. But this episode, we are going to build a Greer, Greer, Greer light speed um, overdrive pedal clone. And we got the PCB from uh, pedalpcb.com. Here's the uh, build manual. And we got some uh, PCBs here. Uh, don't worry about this. That's coming. Be patient. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? But, uh, you know, I do my research. I check up on the old YouTube videos, and this seems to be a very highly regarded pedal. It's supposed to be transparent and uh, sound kick-ass. You know, there's not a whole lot to it, which is good. That's what we like around here. We like simple things. Uh, insert joke here. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So on this video, probably not going to go through all the tedious bits on how to build a pedal. I've done a bunch of videos already that show how to build a pedal from this stage to end. Uh, but if you would like another video, if you'd like the next video on the uh, big pedal we're going to build, if you'd like, you know, a real pedantic in-depth process on how you can go ahead and build your own pedals at home yourself, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll just... Uh, you know, we'll uh, brush through this and get straight to the end uh, more quickly, quicker, quicker, little, quicker, literally. Yeah. All right, whatever. All right, uh, let's warm up the soldering iron and uh, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, we'll go through this a little bit in very brief detail, start to finish on how to do this. Uh, when you get a PCB, obviously read the build instructions. Uh, we're looking at the parts list, so we have all the resistors we're going to need. And we're going to use my resistor kit, uh, capacitors, and capacitor. Oh, and underneath got all my capacitors. Going to need integrated circuits, and I uh, dumped out my bag of uh, integrated circuit chips here. And uh, the one we need, the uh, OPA2134, is in here somewhere. I just saw it. It was like the last one I pulled out of the bag. I was getting nervous. Anyway, we got that. Uh, diodes. Got our diode kit here, and going to need potentiometers and obviously jacks and enclosures and stuff. And we got all the uh, the big chunky stuff from Small Bear Electronics. So there's all the uh, hardware jacks, pots, and we got this nice brick of gold we're going to use. Uh, this stuff here, the resistors, capacitors, and the diodes. This stuff here, I have Amazon affiliate links in the description has uh, pretty much exactly what I'm using, so if you're interested in this stuff, um, that is an option for you to uh, find the uh, stuff you're going to need. But, uh, all right, let's uh, get organized and get this going. Oh, I found it. Uh, OPA 2134, right there. Uh, I forgot to mention, when you're buying uh, ICs, you can get them at either, like, DigiKey or Mouser. Uh, I actually get a lot off of eBay. But if you are buying on eBay, you know, be very wary of getting stuff from China. 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 Uh, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So China. China. Is a, you know, the the option of last resort. But uh, you know, DigiKey Mouser. The usually DigiKey and Mouser. They're like the absolute cheapest you're gonna find. Best deal. You gotta pay for the shipping, but whatever. Gotta have it. Uh, so that's everything we need. All right, moving on. Can you see that? Okay, here's the schematic for our Mach 1 overdrive 
pedal, which is a clone of a Greer Lightspeed, as previously mentioned. All right, let's see if we can uh, figure out what's going on here. Uh, I'm kind of reading this sideways, so bear with me here. Okay, power supply down here. 9 volt battery or, you know, uh, pedal power. We have uh, 22 micro filtering. Oh, we have our diode here. Keep everything straight. No reverse voltage. Uh, get some filtering. And then we're going to the legs of our IC. And we have a voltage divider giving us VREF, which is going to come up here. Power our uh, rails. Is that how that works? Of the two op amps, or two sections of the op amp. Uh, we have the LED indicator on off. All right, up here is the uh, good stuff. Guitar signal comes in here. We have a what would be like a grid leak, but uh, I don't know if that's what it's called with a uh, with solid state stuff. Uh, we go through a 0.047 microfarad capacitor, and we go into our first section of the op amp. Looks like we're doing some soft clipping with uh, diodes, the one in nine fourteen diodes asymmetrical we have three going one direction two going the other way so we're gonna have asymmetrical clipping and we have our drive here which is gonna adjust how much overdrive we get obviously this isn't rocket science come out of the first stage of amplification through 56k go into the second stage through the non-inverting input and this just looks like it's boosting it some more boosting the signal we're not really doing any more clipping and we have a one micro on the way out, tone stack, can't really call that a stack, but a tone knob, and out, yeah, this is very, very basic stuff right here. Real simple circuit, but that's what we like around here. Uh, I've noticed the less crap that's in an amp or a pedal, generally the better it sounds, or I don't know if better it sounds is the right way to say it, but the less it can suck the tone out of your guitar signal. Does that make sense? All right, uh, we're gonna start with the diodes because they're the smallest component. And we're gonna work our way up to larger and larger components. We'll go from the, the little diodes to resistors to capacitors. And then we'll finally end up with the electrolytic capacitor probably being the last thing we put in. Same old song and dance. All right, here we go. Okay, the diodes are installed. Now we're going to install the resistors. And on pedals, more often than not, you use quarter watt resistors. Um, so if you read your instructions and they don't say, um, oh, it does say right here, quarter watt. So, but that's important to, to uh, make note of before you buy your parts. Because some pedals are made for like a smaller enclosure, so they might use 8th watt. And then, in rare cases, there will be certain resistors that need to be um, rated greater than quarter watt for usually like power supply or power dropping. But that's not the case in here. But it's just something to look out for. But anyway, we're going to install about a dozen quarter watt resistors, and uh, then those will be installed. Alright, we got all the resistors in there. If you can see, I have the color code bands all lined up left to right. Trying something new around here, trying to pay attention to details. All right, next I'm going to do probably the socket. So let's put the socket in. All right, for the socket, I'll uh, actually film this because there's a couple of little things for beginners to watch out for. If you'll see on the screen print on your circuit board, this socket here with OPA2134 is a rectangle with one top. It's got a little semicircle cut out of the, the top. That's for orientation, so you stick the IC in properly. You don't want to stick it in backwards. And the little IC holder does have an indent on one side, so we're going to line that up with the semicircle on the screen print. And this is how I do sockets. So we're just going to pick one leg, hopefully you can see this, and uh, I have noticed one thing, I've noticed that the Tone Priest 
uh, now needs reading glasses because uh, everything up close is very blurry. All right, tin the tip, grab the corner leg and solder it. And then what we're going to do to make sure it sits completely flat and flush to the circuit board is we're going to remelt that corner we just soldered while pressing down from the other side. And you want to go quick because this gets hot real fast. Melt, melt, melt. Ooh, yep, that's hot. That's hot. And then we'll go back and solder the rest. Damn, this is getting really hard to see. Let's go see the optometrist. Uh, okay, so right here. Nope. 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 Everybody, one, two, three, four, five. We already did six, seven, eight. Bam! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we broke it. God, um, job done. Nice, right? All right, uh, let's move on to the capacitors. We're almost done with this thing, it's only been about 20 minutes. All right, we have all the capacitors in. Uh, this guy here didn't quite fit in. This uh, capacitor I use right there, I think that's the 10 nano. If I'm not mistaken, no, that's um, 100 pico, my bad. Uh, it's a little bit larger than what the PCB designer was expecting, so when I went to put in the one underneath it, it didn't have quite enough room, but she'll be fine. She'll be fine. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Very simple. All right, now we're going to do the off-board gear. Let's do that. Well, that was perfect timing. We're just ready now to do the off-board wiring, and uh, Amazon just dropped a bunch of stuff off. This I don't need for this pedal. This is going to be for the next one we're going to do. Did not have one N4148 switching diodes. Um, I'm trying to step my game up a notch and, uh, you know, elevate the, the level of quality of the... Uh, equipment I build, so we're going to try and stick uh, a battery in here if we can. And then this, I mean, say what you will about Jeff Bezos and his politics, Washington Post, whatever, but damn, Amazon provides a compelling service. I ordered this stuff at like 8.30 last night, and here we are, like 19 hours later, it's here. Got some ribbon cable. I think we're going to try and use this for um, wiring up the the foot switch. Make that look a little neater. And plus, the uh, the next pedal we're going to do has two boards, and they have like nine wires that go from one board to the other, so this will be uh, nice and neat and hopefully professional looking. Alrighty. Oh. Alright, I'm going through all the stuff I ordered from Small Bear, pulling out the pots and the jacks and stuff, and this is a little odd. The jacks didn't come with any any nuts or washers or anything. I don't know if that's an oversight or if it was uh, mentioned in the description, but why would you sell jacks without the hardware to put it on there? So, yeah, pro tip, pay attention, details matter. If you're ordering this stuff, make sure you get everything you need. Fortunately, we do have stuff in stock. So, working progress. All right, we're almost there. Got the hard part done. Got all these holes drilled. So now we just got to stick it all together and solder in a few more wires. And my least favorite part, wiring up the switch, but got to do it. Otherwise it doesn't work. So almost there. And we can check her out and hair it and see what it's all about. All right, there she is. I got to say I'm getting better at this. This is going to be the nicest one, at least technically speaking, that I've done. Throw some knobs on there and uh, we'll pull out an amp and we'll see what she sounds like. Maybe we'll even go to light speed. What the hell was that? They've gone to plaid. All right, demo time. We're hooked up through the Fender Bandmaster 1968 Silver Pace. Going through the 215 cab of the same vintage. Uh, might add a little bit of reverb into the mix, but uh, here we are. Uh, I already played a couple of notes and. Not, ooh, we had a little bit of a 
microphonic thing going on with one of the tubes in there. Um, knobs work backwards. It's unfortunate. I don't know why they design their boards like that, because you'd have to put all the components, the resistors and all that crap, facing this way with the... No, I, I just don't get it. But whatever, it is what it is. They're backwards. So, uh... This looks like it's all the way up. This is the volume. It's almost all the way down, and that's Unity. This thing has so much gain in it. It's redonkulous. Anyway, that's the volume. This is the gain. And this is tone. So, uh... I'm gonna throw a mic up and noodle around and you can see how she sounds. Alright, hopefully you can see everything. Um, again, knobs work backwards, so down is up, up is down. A little bit of reverb I'll punch in. Uh, if you hear any noise like that, that's just because I'm sitting right on top of my amp and my computer and everything. It, uh, let's see if I point my guitar away from everything, noise goes away, but we're not going to be able to hear that in a minute. Alright, let me get this thing fired up. And we are rolling. Uh, turn off his clean sound.
Well, there you go. There you have it. How fun was that? And we got to hear the big uh, cabinet. Sitting there looking very nice. Um, so yeah, the knobs are backwards. I think what they want you to do is to um, turn the potentiometers the other way. So the top two will be hanging out over dead space. And then have top mounted jacks and those will slide underneath. But uh, yeah, this is how we learn. So if you do get one of these PCBs, keep that in mind. Or else your knobs will be backwards too. But uh, there's no right way. There's no wrong way. You know, there's only uh, my way, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm saying at this point. Some final thoughts on the Greer Lightspeed Overdrive clone pedal we built today. I think it sounds pretty much exactly like what I was expecting it to from the uh, demos and reviews that I've watched, the videos that I've watched on YouTube and stuff. Um, basically, yeah, it's a clean, transparent, or not clean, but it's a, a transparent overdrive where it doesn't really alter your tone very much. It just, you know, gives you breakup, puts a little hair on your tone, you know, so good, bad, or indifferent, that, that's what it does. So you just, uh, it's got so much, oh my god, does it have so much boost? I mean, this was Unity right here, and it had all this much more to go. Probably would have blew the preamp out of this bandmaster here if it cranked it up all the way. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, obviously need to play around with this some more, but, uh, you know, if you're looking for a boost, that's, that's definitely got that there in spades, and plus it's, you know, the drive can give you plenty of hair without changing your tone if you're, you know, that's what you're into. And then you find, uh, tweak and fine-tune the tone right here. So, yeah, very nice little pedal. Very nice little Saturday afternoon project. But, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for one of those who give it to me. And I hope to see you real soon. Oh, coming up. Oops. And, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I built this pedal first before the other one. I wanted to uh, get the rust off. And uh, now we know how we have to put the pots on. So the next one will be absolutely perfect. And uh, make sure, if you like this episode, come back for that one. It's going to be a special episode. we got some big news coming up. And uh, I can't wait to share it with you. All right, everybody. Rock on. China done.